a radio station. Maybe we should investigate more towards the east. Yeah, we can do that tonight. Oh right, I forgot. It's still raining. I forget what the key for waiting is. Um, I guess I could wait. Now, what am I looking for? I find a whole bunch of books. Ah, oh, there we go. Wait, for how long? Give it maybe 30 minutes? We can do that. Alright. It's now only a drizzle instead of an acidic drizzle. That's good by me. Might as well close that up, just so nothing sees us if we have to make a break for it. Alright. It's thoroughly dark now. I can't see nothing on my screen, so I'm bumping to walls. I do seem to catch the reflections of certain areas for some reason. I'm not sure why that's the case. That might be because it's in the range of the sunset. That'd be my guess. Or maybe a car whose headlights are still on. Ah, that would explain it. And then of course, you know, car headlights are always brighter than your typical flashlight. Ah, oh, that's right. I didn't grab any batteries. I should probably search a few houses then. Just to be sure, we're looking for batteries tonight. If only for a little while. If I find a couple of batteries, those I can use. What would be nice if, would be to find some power that I could reliably use to continually charge them. Anyway, get our crowbar and wield it. So we can repeatedly pry this door. Close that behind us. Just take a quick look around. Nothing here. Nothing here either. MP3 player, batteries, cool. Glass pipe. I don't know about anyone ever having one of those. So I can't say if, if that's a thing. If I had half a guess to determine what a glass pipe was, it'd be for just molding more glass, but what I'd be doing here? I guess it's for some dubious use. But whatever. Oh, I picked up an MP3 player. That's not what I wanted. As much as it already has batteries inside it. Where do batteries go? I guess I automatically picked it up on my way over. A Top Gear magazine. I guess they were, they were really into it. Rock outside, potato chips, cola. I guess I can grab some of those. Yep, just pick up all this stuff. You never know when you're going to quite need them. So now that we're done with our flashlight, we can just turn it off. So we have an extra spare charge of batteries for our flashlight, which is all good. You never know when you're going to need them. I mean, we're down to 32 charges right now. Exploring the rest of this town isn't going to be easy, though. I mean, now... Uh, Vision's drastically been cut down, so there isn't much to investigate fully. I mean, all we'll get are pretty much these things, which is where we'll see unexplored and roads, because that's where we'll be, obviously. I guess I could continue ducking into houses. Is that a good idea? I guess so. The library is not much use to us. Maybe the coffee shop has something to say for it. Just gotta move a little bit blindly, which reminds me that I should really keep an eye out for traps, because if I step on a landmine, chances are my head or my left arm isn't going to work much longer. Also, I seem to have found a black rat. Way off to the northwest. 
Please don't tell me I have to shoot it. Um. Well, I probably am. Make sure everything's nicely reloaded. I really can't see in this darkness, which isn't that great. But I seem to have found the building. And because it's a coffee shop, chances are they probably didn't have much time to pack up anything. Chocolate covered coffee beans. That seems rather delectable actually. I've never had much coffee. I think I had it a few times. But nothing ever specific or fancy or anything. And I can't see anything, so time for a flashlight. There's no items or monsters. Well, I guess I've been here before. Nope, nothing. Okay, I should probably mark that as looted because, you know, you don't want to mistakenly return the same place again. So with that, we are done. Oh, there's another black rat. I think it's the sewer rats that are the bigger problem here. How are you? You're just tracking us. Nothing too major, so there's no need to, you know, openly just shoot it for the hell of it. Have I been here before? I must have. I must have fought this guy earlier. Fortunately, most of his stuff's ruined. So, not much use to us. Well, there must have been something huge to happening here. Scraps of flesh, puddle of blood, lighters, and... Wow, that's just a lot of stuff. What am I looking at? A pulped zombie child corpse. Oh, great. Mm, we've probably been here before. I just don't remember. Because, you know, last time I recorded happened to be 2013, not 2014. Also, we seem to have zombies. Well, about time. Shriek a zombie. Just handle everything around us. I think this is silenced. Oh, we have a smoker. That's no good. We we'll have to wait until the smoke clears out before we can try anything bedazzling on it. Uh, probably best not to get caught in the smoke. We don't have our thing on right now. Our dust mask won't prove effective unless we actually have it on. And first things first, kill all the zombies. Zombies first, smoke is later. Uh, yes, stop. If we must stop to avoid the smoker. Oh, great. My flashlight's running out and it's not getting us as much vision as it used to. Reload it. Good, now we can see a little more clearly what the hell is going on here. 223 casings, heavy sticks, zombie corpse, boxing monthly, uh, smokers going to linger around a little longer. I need to wait for it to, you know, stop smoking. Oh. Hello there. Zombie child first. And while we're at it, let me take some more caffeine bells. Better safe than sorry. Smash the glass. Uh, no, don't go into that smoke, thanks. The smoker seems to have made his way inside the fast food rest and... If I can get a clear shot, that'd be great. Oh, isn't this exciting? Thankfully, we seem to be pretty good at taking shots. And for the most part, stuff seems to go down pretty easily, thankfully. I mean, sure it'll take a while, but eventually it's got to end. I've just got to keep looping around in circles until they stop smoking and then I can shoot them. Uh, probably best not to butcher it for now. I guess we can go loop around or something. 
I didn't bring any Molotovs with me, I don't think, so... Who knows? If you'll be effective or not. What's our morale look like? We're a bit cold. Well, it's a bit silly to start eating now. See if we can wait for the smoke to clear up, maybe. Even if just a little bit. Maybe the smoke can't see us. Well, that might be a problem for it, but certainly no problem for me. Tainted meat, ugh. Chances are it's gonna follow us, so it's probably best not to, you know, do anything too noisy. Says me while shooting that. Okay, dog, are you on my side, or are you on theirs? You are just tracking us. There's nothing yet. What's all this? I guess I've been in this part of town as well. Probably. Very highly likely. Shoot that zombie right in the face. There seems to be quite a number of them. Of course, since my range isn't that great. I just have to, you know, assume that there's a few really close by. A talking doll. Ugh. I'm not sure why you'd carry that. But then again, I guess you don't have much of a choice when you're dead. Or undead, in this case. Just butcher them! If they get too close, we can shoot them. Okay, I wasn't intending to shoot the dog, but... Hey! It was gonna turn on us sooner or later. I mean, that inevitably happens if you trust them too much. I don't recall dogs being, you know, smart enough to betray, but I'm sure there's something in there regarding it. This window seems to be broken. I guess I should do the right thing and clean the broken window before actually going through it. There we go. What are we looking at here? Sheets, sticks, that's from windows. String, matchbox, boxing monthly, glove liners, illegal drugs, fairy tales, letters, cigarettes, shot bullets, leather pants. Okay, so nothing big here. What about in here? We have a bit of beer, root beer as well. I hope that's like, non-alcoholic. I never did like alcohol. I haven't had any. Probably sometime down the road, though. Maybe. <laughs> Who knows? Also, that window seems to be really weirdly placed between two walls. I'm not sure if that was intended or not. We seem to have found a soldering iron. I'm not sure if that's the tool or if that's separate or what, so I'm just gonna grab it. Because... Who knows when that might come in handy. See if there's anything else in this house. Okay, that's the same room. This is the front house. We just walked into a cupboard. A black pepper. Rotten broth and pickled herring. I was never a fan of... Seafood, but I can't complain. Pick up some medicines. Because, you know, medicine seems to be really abundant in the... In, after the cataclysm of all things. I guess people were really cautious about themselves, I guess. So might as well indicate that as lucid because it's unlikely we'll find anything meaningful here. Also, we happen to find ourselves on a small bit of highway. I guess this is an intersection or something. Might as well deactivate our flashlight. We need to conserve battery. Though it seems to have attracted attention from a creature somewhere in the background, so I can probably draw it out into the light or something. Or just outrun it altogether. Because, you know, I'm pretty quick with my caffeine power and everything. Ah, oh, pawn shop, is it? It's probably safe not to broke the windows, otherwise the alarm's probably gonna go off. As with most burglar alarms. Alright, flicker it on. Take a quick look at the items we got around. We got a pocket watch, sundress, radio, dress shoes, suit, satire novel, crime novel, boots, sweaters, rocks, aluminium, bats, a gun, 
army helmet, another gun, and a charcoal smoker. What do I look like right now? I forget what key it is to check, actually. Oh dear. Equals? Plus? Ah, oh, there we go. Our cargo pants aren't doing so greatly. But as for helmets, do we have a helmet? 